how Hibs can save Scottish Roll. You're right now, Ke like Kevin. Have you been hit with a brick? What has happened? How are you saying Hibs of all teams can save Scottish football? And, and that's just because I need a good title. But now let's move on to the actual point of today's video. It's because Hibs are apparently linked with what seems to be a really good manager, Nick Montgomery from the A-League. The Central Coast Mariners manager is apparently going to join Hibernian FC to be the new manager. It looks like a really nice appointment. He's been praised by a lot of Aussies online. I'll probably chug a few tweets throughout the video. They're praising his talent ID. Needed when you don't have a lot of money in the Scottish Rule, just like the A-League. Uh, his style of play, exactly what Hibs fans want. Developing players, exactly what you need when you don't have a lot of money, you, know, you need to be able to identify players, develop them, sell them on, repeat. Exactly, and that is good to see that he can do that at a similar level, now he just has to do it at a bigger club. Obviously he won't be able to really bring anyone in now since the transfer window shut, but he can develop the players that are already there, that is what's needed. However, I didn't think Lee Johnson was that bad. However, in the end he did become a bit of a comedy act for everyone to laugh at with his quotes, but some of them did make sense, but it's the way he went about his wording, in my opinion, and you know, he's probably saying more behind the scenes to the players. I can see how you can lose a dressing room and you can lose a fan base like that when you say a lot of things that seem daft in the moment until you break it down a little. But yeah, on to Nick Montgomery more. He's had a lot of praise for his uh, style of play is what I was wanting to touch on more. Very, very much on the front foot, high intensity, very quick, good on the turnover. That's exactly what Hibs want to hear. If you're a Hibs fan, you look caring what your next manager could be like. It, it sounds like a perfect scenario. You're like, wow, good football, high intensity, very quick, good on the turnover, can develop players. Good at identifying, you know, he sounds amazing, he plays what's been labelled as essentially 4-4-2, praising his usage of strikers, likes to play out wide with his wingers, which is great for Johan and Boyle, backline worked really well, which is what Hibs need, you know, they got Will Fish, who they wanted, however, they still have Hanlon and Stevenson at the back, who have been playing since the dinosaurs were kicking about, so, you know, that has been the issue for all the Hibs managers, in my opinion, is the fact you have the two who are kicking about the big T-Rex at the back, uh, so I, um... It looks like a good appointment, and the reason why I said save Scott Show, you know, we've spent a couple minutes now talking about the positives of him as a person and what he can bring to Hibs. Now, for the last part of the video, I'm going to talk about why this can save Scott Shrewell, and that is because I'm going to use Hearts as the example here, which, you know, if you're a Hibs fan watching, you're probably a bit confused why I'm going to your city rivals, and I'm going to explain very quickly. So, Hearts over the summer, before Naismith got the job, they were linked with a Spanish manager, Sinfuentes. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Sinfuentes seemed like the right manager. He's had a lot of praise, and Hearts chose against that and went for the easy option. And that is a thing that happens in Scottish all the time. To a point where I was unsure if Hibs were even going to go for this manager. I thought they were going to do the typical thing, go for a Lenin, a McInnes, or a random English manager who isn't that great but was easy to go and get. Instead, Hibs have actually impressed me with going out and paying a fee to the A-League club to get the right manager instead of just, you know, taking whoever's available and getting Lennon or whatever. And Hearts disappointed me a bit when I seen they went for Naismith because I already said to my Hearts mate, uh, Dylan, a friend of the channel, you know, he's been on a few videos, we'll maybe get him on if uh, Naismith gets sacked or, uh, well, technically, if the technical director and co gets sacked. But yeah, Hearts disappointed me with that, they went for the easy option, it's not been a great start of the season, out of Europe to a poor POK side or Palk or whatever you want to call them. Not the best start to the league, you know, they've not conceded many goals but they've not looked great, I've seen Kai Rolls coming for a lot of criticism. When they could have went out and got a more exciting manager, plays a nicer style of football, a more experienced manager. And I'm quite glad that Hibs haven't went for the easy option and just gave Gray it permanently and went for that, or went for Scott Brown, or went for Lennon. I'm very pleased with that, or they could easily have just basically wasted the season, because if they went for the easy option, people would want them out by Christmas, and we're still really early into the season. And then you'd be needing yet another manager, you'd have to pay out another manager of a contract. Whereas Montgomery, from what I'm reading, from what I'm seeing, it excites the fans, he gets a lot of praise by opposition fans in, in Australia, which, you know, it's very rare for opposition fans to praise others, but he is getting it, and I think this could be the right appointment. I hope it goes well and it convinces teams like Hearts to get us in Fuentes. And when the big teams do it, like how Celtic done it with Ange, 
Hibs are now doing it among Gumray. If this goes well like it did with Anjit Celtic, then that could lead to a St. Johnson doing it. If a St. Johnson then does quite well with it, then maybe a team in the Championship, I don't know, Rafe Rovers goes and does maybe a manager from abroad or someone with a bit more of an interesting style of play that could be deemed as a risk. That is what I want to see because if we want a better TV deal, we need to improve the product and then convince everyone to watch it because if it's a good style of play all the managers have, it's a better product to then sell to the advertisers. So thank you for watching, we're getting really close to 1k and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye and subscribe.